Jebediah Kerman is one of the most famous and iconic heroes ever. He shows up everywhere. He's in Crash Course Astronomy, and he's even sort of mentioned in a Mark Rober video. But even though he's beloved by millions, he has no backstory. We don't know anything about his character or how he got where he is. So I decided to take some creative liberties, and I invented a whole backstory for him. Get ready. So Jeb wasn't that different from most Kerbals when he was young. He didn't stand out from the crowd that much. But he was good at a few things. He could understand how things worked a lot better than most Kerbals. When he took things apart, he could build them again and he would understand why it was that way. So one summer he got a job with a mechanic named Selbin. They worked on building and fixing things and Jeb liked it that way. So in his free time, he learned to tinker and build his own stuff. He picked up books from the library about inventions he was interested in and he built some of the stuff himself. He wasn't really the book kind of guy, but he could do instruction manuals. He built all kinds of things. He built his own motors and engines and even put together an entire plane from parts he found in the junkyard. He would spend his weekends flying that plane. He loved it, as you can see. But out of everything he built, he loved rockets. He read about it in one of his books and he couldn't get enough. He had to build one himself. He spent months meticulously building a rocket that he could send all the way into space. When it was finally ready, he put it onto the launch pad and lit the engines. It launched and flew flawlessly for a little bit. It tipped over and started tumbling, and then it broke apart and blew itself to bits. So Jeb had made his fair share of mistakes before, but this one hit a little bit different. It was like his whole life for the past five months just disappeared. It felt like such a waste to him. Eventually, he left the workshop and did his own thing. He decided to go on a Kerbal Air Expedition, where he flew with a team all across Kerbin. It was the time of his life. He was the best pilot they'd ever seen, and he wasn't too humble about it either. He loved flying. After three years, he came back home and talked with Selvin. Jeb didn't really know what he wanted to do when he got home, so he thought, maybe going back to be a mechanic would be a good idea. But Selbin had different plans. Selbin knew how talented Jeb was at flying and building things, and Jeb wouldn't like working at a machine shop forever. Selbin told Jeb to try building a rocket again. At first, Jeb didn't listen. He didn't even care about rockets. But Selbin kept at it, and eventually Jeb started working at it again. They built a new ship together, and this time they made it a little better than before. After a few months of work, it was finally ready to fly. Jeb was nervous, but they launched it and it flew flawlessly. It made it to space, and the top stage came back down with a parachute. Jeb was so excited about it that he and Selbin built another one, and this time it was big enough for Jeb to fly himself. That one worked too, and Jeb felt so amazing when he flew in it. Flying a plane was epic, but flying a spaceship, that was different. And when he looked down at Kerbin from space, he knew he was meant to be up there. Jeb kept flying and made it into the news. He had a reputation for being a fearless pilot. He made a business called Jeb's Junkyard to build rockets for him. He loved flying and he couldn't get enough of it. A few years later, a Kerbal named Werner von Kerman got wind of this pilot and he knew he had to meet him. He booked a flight to Jeb's Junkyard. Coincidentally, another Kerbal named Gene Kerman was meeting Jeb at the exact same time. Jeb was a pilot, Werner was an inventor, and Gene was a businessman. And Jeb realized that this was a perfect combination. So he proposed an idea for a Kerbal space program to them. They would enlist the most brave and talented Kerbals in the world to go to space. They knew it would be incredibly ambitious, but Jeb, Gene, and Werner were nothing if they weren't ambitious. 